Welcome back to The Andrew Berger Show, where we burrow into the heart of issues that touch the lives of American workers. Today, we're circling back to the story of Washington State Representative Emily Wicks, who recently dropped the bombshell that she's bowing out of the re-election race. But hold on to your hats, because we're adding a new twist to this tale. Emily Wicks wasn't your run-of-the-mill state representative. She also wore the hat of a Democratic communications person for then-Lieutenant Governor Habib. Her right-hand woman, Mary Fossey, has since climbed the ranks even after slapping a restraining order on me for voicing my concerns via emails and videos. The worrisome pattern here is the muzzling of injured workers. Picture this. I've been in the trenches of manual labor for three decades before an injury sidelined me. But now, these women who've never dirtied their hands with manual labor are attempting to muzzle me and others in my shoes. In a piece by The Herald, Emily Wicks announced it's time to reset how she serves the community. But it begs the question, who is she truly serving? Is it the community of workers thirsting for federal human rights and state work comp solutions like a state ombudsman for everyone? Not just the self-insured, or is it the ambitions of her political career? The time has come for our representatives to stop sidestepping the issues and start championing the rights of workers. We don't need policies that strip labor of rights and trample on our human dignity. We need equal rights for all workers stretching from sea to shining sea. If you're a worker in the land of the free, this isn't just my battle, it's a battle for all of us. Rise up, make your voice heard, and demand the change we're entitled to. Voice over. As the cries for justice echo louder, the demand for basic minimum federal standards and another national work comp commission is growing. It's time to spotlight the role of individuals in this fight, like Jason Call. Once my local Democrat's PCO, he's now running for the Green Party against U.S. Rep. Rick Larson. His actions, along with others, have brought to light the refusal of local Democrats to address federal issues on their tables in Washington state. But it doesn't stop there. The contradiction is clear when we see figures like Socialist Sawant promoting whole Washington single payer, all while denying the workers' federal human rights issue and the need for a national work comp commission on local Democrats' agendas. We find ourselves at a crossroads where the needs of the many are being ignored for the interests of a few. It's time to question why our issues are not being addressed by those who claim to represent us. It's time to demand change, not just in words, but in action. Together, we can make a difference. As we move forward, remember, this is our fight, and we won't back down until justice is served.